Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 16 RC update on my iPhone 10R so as you can see from the screenshot it came in about 4.78 GB it was a large install so if you're having any phone the update size would be between somewhere 4 to 5 GB maybe if you're having a pro model it will be I know above 5 GB but if you're having a non pro model maybe iPhone 10R or 11 so it would be around 4 to 5 GB so as you can see from the screenshot all this what's highlighted there is mentioned in the screenshot and if you're running a developers or the public beta then you should be definitely able to get this update now in this video let's take a look at this iOS 16 RC update and talk about what's new and whether you should install iOS 16 on your iPhone right now so without further wasting any time let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and general and about section as you can see if i tap on the ios 16 it says the new build number is 20a362 so i've taken a screenshot before updating as you can see the build number was something 20a5358a and after updating it's kind of a stable version you could say so if apple does not find any you know major issues with this release candidate so it will be you know probably by next week it will be released to all the users so also apple announced when all of us are going to get ios 16 so that date is September 12th. So at the time of recording this video, today is 8th of September. So by next week, Monday, we will all get the iOS 16 update. So if you're running on iOS 15, don't worry. Next week, anyway, we are going to get iOS 16 update. Now talking about what's new, there's nothing new major because all those beta updates we had starting from beta 1 to beta 8, we have talked about many new features and major updates. We have covered all the updates. So so all those are present in iOS 16 RC. Now, if we take a look at this, you know, modem firmware update as well. So there is no new modem firmware update for my iPhone 10R. It is 5.0.01. So after I, you know, I could remember after iOS 16 beta 5, there's no new modem firmware update. So don't expect anything new over there. But one thing I noticed here, if you come to the settings and go to this privacy and um, security, and if you click on this analytics option analytics and improvement there's a new option it says improve the security so you know you can toggle this on or toggle this off by default it would be you know kind of toggled off so maybe probably next time whenever you are setting your new iphone or the existing iphone this option will be there from the initial menu or from by coming down here you can you know actually click on this improve safety so apart from that i also take a look at the wallpaper whether there are any new wallpapers for that matter but you know if we talk about the collections and if we talk about the emoji sections all those wallpapers that you have seen before so those are there there are no new wallpapers that has been added particularly in this ios 16 rc now also many of you are interested whether you know at this point of time if you're running ios 15 you know whether you should install ios 16 or not i would say by any means next week you're going to get ios 16 but this is definitely a stable update by 99 percent you know it would be released to the public by you know 12th of september so definitely do wait for that and talking about the battery life because many of you are interested in the battery life let's talk about the battery health the battery health hasn't dropped for me but you know i haven't been using this iphone 10r as my primary device but i would say the ios 16 meters in terms of battery life did not impress me a lot because i was running uh, you know iphone 13 with ios 15.6.1 one update last week and i felt that there's a major difference between the ios 15 and ios 16 battery lives so probably with ios 16 rc or probably with the ios 16 stable series of updates the battery life improves a lot so uh, that's regarding the battery life now talking about you know i have talked about many applications were not working before so now that you know apple has released ios 16 rc now there will be many application updates so definitely do update all your applications so if you're running on ios 16 in the follow-up review i'll talk about whether i am facing any issues on the app crashes or particularly any application is crashing on my iphone 10r or not so for this video let's talk 
talk about the performance. So when we talk about the performance, many of you continuously ask me about the Geekbench 5 you know, scores. So here are the scores. As you can see, the single core score came in about 1118 and the multi-core score came in about 2597. So the scores are near about you know what we received with the previous iOS betas. So uh, the scores are similar and the you know update looks actually stable. So if you are running on iOS 16 beta 7 or beta 8, so definitely you should be able to get this update. But if you are on stable series of update, do remember you won't be able to get this update unless Apple release the iOS 16 update for the public which will be released next week. For that if you want to test out the beta software you need to download iOS 16 beta profile which you can download basically from beta.apple.com. I've made a video on that you can check out the channel so for that. So then again that's it for this video there's nothing to talk about you know in terms of new features because all the features that have been added are already added with iOS 16 RC and I have talked about all these features. If you go to my channel, I have you know made videos on starting from iOS 16 beta 1, beta 2 and till beta 8. So all the separate videos covers every new features that you can expect with iOS 16 RC. So also, uh, I mean, I watched yesterday's Apple event. I'm pretty much excited about the iPhone 14 Pro. Let me know in the comment section below whether how many of you have watched the Apple event and you know iPhone 14 Pro to be honest you know excited me the most because it has this kind of you know, you know dynamic island what they call it and this this new notch design so that's how you know it was pretty much interesting apart from that Apple also released iPhone 14 which is actually similar to iPhone 13 there is you know no design changes but there are of course improvements apart from that Apple also released uh, AirPods Pro 2 I have AirPods Pro so probably um, by you know next few months I'm thinking to upgrade to AirPods Pro 2 and also Apple released you know their Apple watch so these are all the products that Apple released yesterday I watched the Apple event and the product that excited me the most was you know iPhone 14 Pro but the price are a little high uh, this year it starts from 129,000 rupees in India but you know the features are great I know the design looks refreshing and there's also a new color which they are calling it a purple color so then again that's it for this video i just wanted to let you know that you know i have received ios 16 rc update so this update you know it's a large install if you are having a wi-fi connection i would advise then you know get your phone connected to wi-fi and do install this update and let me know in the comment section how many of you have updated to ios 16 or running ios 16 beta softwares or if you are running ios 15 at the moment and waiting for ios 16 public release so let me know that in the comment section below so with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that you know we have got this is 16 rc update and if you have a beta profile installed then definitely do update your iphone to ios 16 rc so then again that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video and you know got something useful from this video if you do enjoy these videos and you know like these videos then definitely consider subscribing to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of such kind of videos for you guys so with that being said i will see you on my next video Bye-bye.